And the costs to local industries just keep growing. Queensland's beef producers will take a massive hit. Their stock are trying to feed on waterlogged land. They can't get to market. And there's no way for abattoirs to get the processed product to consumers. Thousands of acres of central Queensland's prime grazing land is sitting underwater. At Dingo, halfway between Rockhampton and Emerald, cattle producers have been flooded out for the second time in three years. Before the 08 flood, we had quite a number of uh, quite dry years there, so you know, it's just one thing after another, so this could be the straw that breaks the camel's back. A lot of damage to fodder and fences, in infrastructure, roads, yeah, so there's uh, a lot of work to do, be done after these waters recede. Large tracts of Richard Luck's property have been underwater since the Mackenzie River system flooded in early December. Well, we had 14,000 acres underwater, which, which is, um, uh, oh well, 80% of what we call our fattening country. And it'll be another 10 days before the water recedes. Richard Luck got most of his stock to dry ground, but relocating the cattle will put pressure on that land, and the flooded area will take time to recover. There's a lot of damage done there to the, uh, to the grasses. Some of the grass have been underwater for many days now. Alan Acton owns three properties nearby. Using his helicopter, he got his and his neighbour's cattle to high ground. He says the biggest problem graziers face is not being able to get cattle out to market. The roads have been sort of deteriorated to the extent where it could take months to repair. Uh, meatworks probably won't be able to fill their markets because they won't be able to get cattle there to the meatworks. So, you know, it, it'll be an ongoing thing for quite a number of months. And farming groups say that'll affect industries further down the line as well as having an impact on supply in coming months. But it's not just beef producers who will be affected. Farmers with crops in the region say the floods will cause erosion and weeds. No summer crops in this area are planted uh, and some of them have already lost some of their winter crops. So uh, yeah, it'll be quite devastating actually. Agforce says flood affected producers should negotiate with their lenders about the extraordinary circumstances. Talk to their banks, let their banks um, know what the situation is and we as an industry group are talking to banks as well. Um, and also seek help if, if they feel overwhelmed. And they agree the recovery will be measured in years, not months. Siobhan Barry, ABC News, Dingo.